This is the ballad of Cat Ballou, written in 1965 by Jerry Livingston and Mac David from the movie of the same name. Um, I played here in the key of G. It is actually in the key of C, so you can capo up on the fifth if you want to play it in the same key. I just like it better at this lower register. Uh, I played in three different parts, the intro, the E minor part, and the devil part. The E minor part and the devil part are played dozens of times throughout the movie in multiple different speeds. The beginning of the intro looks like this. <laughs> For the bass, I'm playing whole notes. Uh, now, when there's two or three chords per measure, I'll do more bass notes, but it's for the G, it's. which is G, B, D, 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 E, D, B, D, and then you move to a C chord. And that's E, G, G, E, and then back down to the G chord, hitting a D for your melody. So these first two chords are... And then it moves to an E minor chord. So for the E minor chord, you're hitting an E in the bass, and for your melody, it's a third fret D, G, B, and then you move to a C chord, hitting a C in the bass and a D for your melody. So it's D, C for the melody, and then you move to a D chord, hitting a D in the bass, and it's A, D for your melody. So this first run looks like this. Then you hit these two single notes. D, E, you can slide up to a D and E. And then you move to this B minor chord hitting the F sharp on the first string. down to the A minor chord hitting the first string on the E. And then it's this 1, 4, 5, and G. And what that is, is a G with a D, B, G, C chord, C, B, and then a D chord, and then back to the G chord hitting the G note for your melody. So this part looks like this. And then it's the cat below hitting a G octave up higher G. Now they hold it for four measures here. I usually just do it for two. And then G, G, and to a C chord hitting a G is your melody. And this time when I get back down to the G chord, I'm hitting the B note up here on the first string. So that's a pretty good reach. You can make a little D chord there if you want. Then we move on to the E minor part. So the E minor part starts off with hitting an E on the first string for your melody, and then B twice. You move to a G chord. D, 
usually mute it there and then repeat. And then you move up to this C chord, hitting a G for your melody, and then just walk down the C chord, lift up for an E, C, G. Back to a G chord, hitting your B as your melody. And then you hit these two notes, D, E, D. You can slide and do it. And then you move up to a D chord. Now sometimes I play the D as a lower D like this. A, A, F sharp, D. Sometimes when I play the D, I go up to this D on the 5th fret, which is 5th fret, 7th fret, 7th fret, and you can just stay. And then back down to G, but you can attain the same melody hitting this D. So the E minor part looks like this. Or like this, because you repeat it. Same notes, just different chord shapes. Then it moves to the next part, which is the uh, devil part. What I'm doing there is a G hitting a B note for your melody, an A minor seventh hitting the C note for the melody, a G diminished looks like a D chord, but it's just moved over one set of strings. So on the second string, second fret, third string, third fret, fourth string, second fret. And you're hitting your C sharp there is your melody, so it's. is your melody and then you, and then you jump up to this shape of G which is like a D it's just moved up here to the seventh fret move it down one and move it back up one playing the first string for those melodies and then hit the second string so like this can do this for the last note. You get the same G note there. And then you move to the next chord, which... What I do there, I start here on the fifth fret, second and fourth strings. fret each time to an A minor 7 and then it's and you can do that two different ways or and then the transition back down to the G is D D flat C now, if you're up here on this D chord, it's the third string. And then it 
finishes off with a D. A regular D hitting your F sharp. D, E, F sharp. G chord. So the devil part looks like this. Final part, the cat blue part. It's a D on the second string, and then you hit a D chord. You can do this D chord. And then G chord. Hitting a B, A, G. And then you finish off with the same D run.